Hello everyone and welcome to Jam Academy. In this example we have a block of mass M being pulled to the right by a force that is given by alpha multiplied by T. In other words the force is a function of time. We are asked to calculate how far will the bus will the box travel after five seconds. Let's start by doing our free body diagram. We have the weight acts vertically downwards. We have the force F and definitely we have kinetic friction FK acting to the left. And one last force, we have the normal force acting vertically upward from the bottom of the block. So the next step is for us to apply Newton's second law equations in both directions. Um, I'm going to start with the, the y direction. The summation of Fy is equal to n minus mg. This is equal to zero. This means that n is equal to mg. So this is the value, the expression for the normal force acting on the box. Now the summation of f of x is equal to f minus fk. This will be equal to ma. But what do we know? By definition, fk is equal to mu k, which is just mu, multiplied by m by n. This means that the frictional force on the box is given by mu mg. And therefore, th we can conclude that alpha t minus mu mg is equal to ma. Alpha t minus mu mg is equal to ma. So, um, how do we proceed from here? Remember that A is equal to dV over dt. And if A is equal to dV over dt, this means that m dV over dt is equal to alpha t minus mu mg. We can choose at this particular moment to put in the values m is equal to 4 so this is 4 dv dt equal to 2 because alpha is a constant 2. This is minus 1 half multiplied by 4 multiplied by g, um, which is, I'm going to take g to be 10, even though it's 9.8. So we will have 4 dv over dt equal to 2t minus, that will be, 4 divided by 2 is 2 minus 20. Hence, hence we have dv dt equal to 0.5t minus 5. Or you can choose to use half minus 5. What that means is that dv is equal to half t minus 5 multiplied by dt. If we take the integrals of both sides, we're integrating from, remember that the initial velocity of the block is zero from zero to V. And we are integrating from zero to T. What that will give us is, this would mean that V is equal to, to one over four T squared minus five T. We're integrating from zero to t. In other words, this would mean that v is equal to 1 fourth t squared minus 5t. This is the expression for the velocity of the box to the right as a function of time. Now, this would imply that dx over dt is equal to one fourth t squared minus five t, which means that dx is equal to one over four t squared minus five t, 
all multiply by dt. If we take the integrals of both sides, we're integrating from 0 to x, from 0 to t, we will have here x equal to 1 over 8 t, sorry, um, not 1 over 8, that will be 1 over 12 t cubed minus 5 over 2 t squared. This is the expression for the position of the box as a function of time. So the next question, the, the, the thing that we have to do now is just to substitute the time 5 for the time. If we do that, if we do that, x will become, if we do that, x will become, um, x will be equal to 1 over 12, 5 raised to the power 3 minus 5 over 2, 5 raised to the power 2. Now, um, you can use your calculators to calculate this expression. You will be required to insert the answer in the question right below this video um, in our online management system. Um, so if you have any question on this, please do not hesitate to ask um, and I will be able to help you. Thank you so much for your time and remain blessed. Bye-bye.